Hello and welcome to my tutorial where I'm going to be teaching you how to create a wine glass in Maya using only nerves. So I'm going to go to the internet and I'm going to type in wine glass. Oh, totally spelled that wrong. Doesn't matter though. And I'm going to uh, choose this first one right here. And I'm going to save this as, um, I don't know, tutorial one. And I'm going to go back into Maya. I'm going to go into my front view and I'm going to go to view image plane, import image. I'm going to go to documents and blueprints and I'm just gonna get my tutorial one blueprint out and I'm going to scale this up quite a bit there that's pretty good I'm gonna go back into here and I'm gonna start modeling this so I'm gonna go to create um, curve tools CV curve tool and I'm gonna turn on the grid snap which is this magnet and this little grid icon that way, as you can see, if I were to create one of these, they snap to the vertex, or not vertex, but um, uh, grid points. So I'm going to create one right here, and then maybe right here, and I'm going to turn that off. And then I'm gonna just going to keep going around. So as you can see, it's starting to create a curve for us. And when you're doing this, um, you don't want to go like many little ones like that. You want to try and keep the curve as clean as possible. So I'm just going to select one right here and then right here and you see how that makes that curve kind of a lot nicer and you just want a, the least amount you can have okay then I'm gonna make another one about right here another one there another one there and another one there and you want this line in the middle see this big line right here you want this to be in the middle of the wine glass because when we revolve this 360 degrees we're gonna need this to be exactly in the middle um, and I'm just gonna keep going using not too many points I'm just gonna keep following up the side of this glass I'm just gonna keep going alright so now that I'm basically at the top I'm gonna make another point about right here and actually that's a bit too far there, about right there, and I'm going to keep following down all the same points I made, so about right here. doesn't need to be perfect, but try and make it good. And about there, and another one here, another one here, 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 here. This is to give us uh, a little thickness when we make this, and here, here here and now what we need to do as well is we're gonna have to snap this to there and we can't use that really so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make one about maybe about like right here and I'm just gonna hit Q so that this is completed and then I'm gonna hold down right click on it and I'm gonna take that control vertex I'm gonna select that one and then I'm gonna go to um, just hit W hold down V or X and I'm just gonna snap it to the um, grid line, and I can push it up a little bit. And if I press Q now and just go back into object mode, and if I hide this, then you can see we kind of have our shape. And now what we need to do is we just need to select that thing, and then go to surfaces, and then revolve, and click this little box right here. I'm just going to reset mine so it looks the same as yours. And we're going to want to revolve around the Y axis, so that's good. And let's see if there's anything else we want to change. Um, we the segments is how many different things it will make when it's going all the way around. So if we had, you know, 50 would make 50 when it revolves around 360 degrees, which is this end sweep angle, um, which is this thing right here. And so I could have maybe, maybe a few more, maybe like, let's go 15. And our output geometry you want to be polygons, so that way it doesn't completely make it. Nerbs. If this this is the only thing that will be nerbs, and it'll output polygons that we can select vertexes and all that jazz. Um, let's see. Um, I want this to output as quads, by the way, not triangles, because quads are, in my opinion, a lot more clean. And now the minimal edge length is kind of small, so I'm going to change this to 0 0.02, and I'm just going to hit revolve. And now, as you can see, it has revolved 360 degrees. And with minimal effort, you can make a wine glass extremely fast. And I can just drag this out here. And it's real clean. You can select all the vertexes. doesn't really matter. 
and that is that so thank you for watching and please subscribe uh, come on come on there we go bye